Just forget about the molars. I'm not even going to talk about the molars. But the incisors are the front teeth. How many front teeth incisors does a cow have on the bottom? Four. Nope. I guess so, he is. <laughs> I'm having fun with you, Robert. <laughs> They got on the bottom row, they got eight teeth across there. Okay? And we'll think of them in pairs. There's four pairs. Okay, we're just talking different language, I think. And on top, nine. They've got a dental pad on top. No teeth. But just in case you're thinking, that means they can't bite you. <laughs> if you want to volunteer to stick your hand in and see what happens, they can sure get you. Okay? When, when those teeth come in, these calves, just like, just like our kids, soon after birth, they get their baby teeth. And it's very, very predictable uh, when they're going to get their permanent teeth. To the month, pretty much. I like to kind of round it off, keep it simple, keep it where you can remember it. Okay? When they're two years old, they're going to replace the, the first pair. That would be the two center ones right in front. Okay? Two years old. Two years old. When they're three years old, they get the next set. So now they got four teeth. Two Permanent. pairs. Permanent or? Permanent teeth. Okay. Do they have eight? They still got the baby teeth, okay, so except out. they've replaced the those. Okay. Four years, they replace the next pair. Five years, they replace the last pair. Okay. So at that point, they've got eight permanent teeth, and uh, we call that full mouth. From now on, it gets a little more subjective. Now. Uh, we can't say exactly how old they are, but we don't really care because what we do care about is do they have enough teeth to make a living eating grass and raising a baby and doing what we want them to do efficiently. The other thing we want to think about is, and this is why we need to look at their teeth instead of just knowing how old they are, is we need to look at them and we need to decide, does this cow need to be culled now? Does this cow, has she got one more year of raising a good calf and then we can cull her? Or is she a cow that could be in the herd several more years? And those are, those are very uh, variable things. Because how quick that happens, it depends a lot on the breed of the cow. It depends on what they've been eating, on how close to the ground they've been eating. Do you remember the picture of the raindrop this morning splattering the, the dirt up? If that's up in the forage and they're eating that, that dirt's going to grind those teeth off. It has to do with mineral balance. A lot of things. Probably breed and then individuals within the breed, just like people. You know, I know some people that ain't had any teeth since they was in their 20s. And I know some people that are in their 80s and still got all their teeth, yeah. right? Okay, so, so we don't so much care how old they are as what their teeth looks like. Homework assignment. When you go home, check your local market reports, okay? I, many times I've said, well, this cow's good for one more calf, and gets wrong, and about February I got to drag her off. Even maybe worse than that is the cow that does have one more year in her, but she goes into winter uh, in pretty good shape. She hadn't got enough uh, grass to utilize, uh, enough teeth to use the grass when it gets tough. She's older now and weaker, and the younger cows beat her off the feed. And now springtime, and you got an old shelly cow, and the packers don't want her. Okay, as an exercise, figure an 1,100-pound cow that's a good cutter cow 
what her salvage value is, and then figure an 800 pound Shelly cow at what price per pound they're paying on them, and see how much you lost in salvage value. And then take your winter costs, what it costs to winter her, which is the most expensive part of your, of your whole deal, add that to what you lost in salvage, and see how many dollars worth of cash she has to raise to pay for what she cost you that last year. 